Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to be doing a product review for this product by Spraymax. It's their 2K Clear Glamour. The number is 3680061. It's a two-part automotive grade clear coat and hardener. So this will give you the closest to a professional clear coat that you can get out of a can. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at the close-up here of this can. First of all, it does have a label right across the top. It says professional use only and pretty much lets you know the chemicals in it and that a protective mask must be worn. This is very strong stuff. I've used this before. You want to make sure that you're using the proper mask or respirator for it because you don't want to be taking this into your lungs. It's very strong stuff, very dangerous. But this two-part here, you have this tab here on top. And basically what you'll do is you'll pop that off and here on the bottom, you're going to put this in to punch through and that will then break through the bottom part that contains the hardener. And then you're going to shake it up really good to mix it. And then that will give you that clear coat hardener, nice clear finish like an automotive grade that would come out of a spray gun. So what I'm going to do, we have a vehicle that I'm working on. We're going to get a close up of that and I'm going to go ahead. We're going to test this on it and see how well it looks compared to an actual clear coat that would come out of a spray gun. You don't want to be using just a cheap respirator or mask. You want to get something like this that's actually rated for actually spray paint and chemicals like that. So that way you can properly filter that out. Now I'm also going to use just some, some rubber gloves as well. You don't really have to, but sometimes with these, when you're dealing with any kind of spray paints and spray applications, some stuff can get on your hands. And rather than trying to get that off, I'm just going to use some gloves. I'm also going to remove my watch. You don't want to have anything on that this can't kind of the dust can fall on and damage. So we're going to go ahead and get geared up and then I'm going to show you what to do next as far as to mix it and prep it and then we're going to go ahead and do the application and then see how it looks. Now it's important before you apply this clear coat or any kind of clear coat you want to make sure that the paint that you've applied has been properly cured. You want to give it the proper time to dry. You don't want it bubbling up. This particular vehicle that we're working on here, it's a Lamborghini Countach LP400S, but it's a replica. I've been doing a project for a couple years now where I'm doing a full restoration on it. If you want to see some of the videos about it, I'll have one across the top, but down in the description, I'll have a few that you can take a look at if you want to follow that. It's a pretty cool project, but we're at this point now where we've painted it and now we're doing the clear coat and we're using this clear coat as a test to see how that turns out. I do have a spray gun also, but I wanted to try this and just see if it's all that they claim it to be. So what I've done is I've already painted it. We've let it sit a few days to really let it properly cure. If the car does need to be prepped or sanded down more, you want the finish to be nice and smooth before you go ahead and, and spray this on. Now, if you spray it on, like if you're using normally like a spray gun, a lot of times you don't have to sand it. You might get a little bit of that orange peel finish. So I don't know how this one's going to go on, but if you do, you can always go with maybe like a two or 3,000 grit wet sandpaper afterwards, which we're not going to do in this video. And you can light sand it smooth and buff it at that point. But you want to make sure that this is free from any dirt and dust debris. Wipe it down real good. Let it dry as we talked about. If anything needs to be sanded and redone, get that all done before you do the clear coat. So we've already done it on this, so we're ready to start applying the clear coat. So I'm going to get the can over here. We're going to go ahead and read what the next steps are, and then we're going to start applying it. Now, something else that's very important that you definitely want to do is you want to make sure that you have good ventilation where, wherever you're applying this. If you're doing it like I'm doing here in a regular garage, I've got everything masked. What I'm going to do is after I spray it, not during because you don't want stuff blowing in here, but as soon as you're done, open up the door, windows or whatever, get airflow in here. If you're doing it in a spray booth, obviously you have ventilation, but you don't want to be doing it in a closed in room and leaving it closed. You want to make sure that even though you're wearing a mask, once the vehicle's done, this thing has to gas out. It's going to be very strong odors that are harmful. You don't want family members or anyone else inhaling that. So it's important that you have a well ventilated room that you're doing it in so that way you can let the the toxic fumes get out and not be trapped in there. But look here on the back, I'll get a close up and this is how we're gonna apply it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the can as it is, shake it for approximately two minutes, really get it all shaken up. Then the next thing after that, we're gonna turn it upside down, remove the red tab from the cap, and then go ahead and break through to the hardener on the bottom. Once we break that through, and I'll show you, you'll hear it click. Then you're going to shake it again with that released into the clear coat for another two minutes, and then we're ready to start spraying it. So let's go ahead and start these steps so that way we're ready to go.
Next, we're going to remove this red tab. Just pop that off. Turn the can upside down. It's got a little notched out piece, so it lines up right here. And as I push it, you'll hear it click through and break. There we go. It's been released. Now we'll shake it for another two minutes. Off. Everything has been applied. It's looking very good. So what I'm going to do, we're going to let it dry just a little bit, and then I'll come back and get a close-up and wrap up this review. You can see it actually went on very good, but it does have that orange peel finish. I have the light shining right on it so you can see it. Not as smooth as if you used a spray gun, but still pretty decent. Let me get a, a backup shot so you can see it. And that's one coat. What I would recommend is giving a second coat, or maybe even a third, get it real nice and shiny. But that's just one coat, and you can see it looks good. Well, that wraps up this review here on this Spray Max 2K two part clear glamour. Once again, it's number 3680061 because they do make other clear coats, this company, which is not a two part. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this probably an eight. Um, the spray nozzle does not go on as smooth as if you're using a spray gun, as we saw. It's not bad. However, for the, the actual like clarity and the, the glamour of the clear, and then once it dries, the hardness of it, definitely the best. Any of those just single clear coats, the polyurethane lacquers, all those things, even if you get like the ones at automotive places, they're not going to really do that much. I mean, it's good for a quick project, but if you want something that's going to last, I'd recommend going with this. This is expensive. I think it's like $20 to $25 a can. Sometimes you can find them in bulk online, like eBay, Amazon, places like that. I have not seen it over the counter, but then again, you might luck out and find it over the counter. So if you're doing a project... In the case here, I wanted to do it for product review, but like I said, I am going to wind up going over it with, with an actual spray gun. But I am impressed with this here. I'm just going to have to light sand it with a very high grit sandpaper to get it smooth, and then I'm going to hit it with a, with a gun and get it a little, bit, a little bit smoother. But definitely recommended if you're doing a project with one of your vehicles and you're trying to touch something up or maybe doing a door panel or a quarter panel fender, things like that. You won't go wrong with this. It'll probably give you the best clear coat you're going to get out of anything in a can. So if you don't have a spray gun, this is definitely the way to go. Highly recommended. Like I said already, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it an 8. The only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 is because of the way it goes on is not as smooth as I would like it to be. So you got to do a little bit of touching up afterwards with a buffing and sandpaper to get it perfectly smooth. So that wraps up this product review for this product. I hope that this 
review was informative for you, showed you kind of what this thing could do. If you have any questions or comments, please send them in. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.